Well, welcome back to another video. My name's Ev Chapman, and today we're talking about how to use tabs in Tana to be able to view your data in a whole lot of different ways um, so that you don't have to be context switching all the time. So if you've been using Tana, if you've watched any Tana videos, if this is the first time that you're hearing anything about Tana, what you essentially need to know is everything is a node in Tana. And what that means is that uh, it's basically one big outline from the top all the way down to the bottom. Uh, you can just keep adding new nodes, indenting nodes, adding new nodes, indenting nodes. And, uh, and while that is very helpful, um, the really fun thing about Tana is that any node can be turned into a different kind of view. So you don't have to, you're not just limited to uh, the list views. Uh, you can view your data as a table or as cards um, or uh, as tabs, as we are going to talk about today, which actually just makes it uh, a little bit more flexible. And I think um, when we're thinking about the context of using data and the context of viewing data, it's really good to be able to see it in a whole lot of different ways rather than just the list view, which I think elevates it above some of the other um, kind of uh, types of PKM apps out there um, that you uh, might be using or might have used in the past. So firstly, let's look at how tabs work because they're really easy to set up, but they did take me a little bit of time just to wrap my head around how they worked. And then I'm gonna show you a couple of different use cases where you should consider using tabs instead of just a normal list view so that you can use less screen real estate and you can start to view your data in lots of different ways and start to really contextualize how you want to use it. All right, so uh, uh, when you're in Tana, essentially anything can be turned into a tab. Um, so let's the, the easiest way to kind of explain this is to have a top node, okay? So let's say we have our top node here, okay? Then you're going to kind of tab in and have a whole lot of nodes underneath. So we then have node one. Oh, that's not two caps. Node one, node two, node three. Okay, this is how you would normally do uh, anything in Tana. Then you can actually come up here. You can go to your little node and you can right click and you can go show view options. You can do this on any node. It doesn't necessarily have to be a search node. Any node will do this. And then we're just gonna go view as tabs. Voila, we have our tabs. And that is actually how easy it is to set up tabs. Um, if you do not see that view option, then you need to make sure you turn tabs on, okay? So you all you have to do is come up to the, uh, the settings uh, cog wheel up here, go to Tana Labs and turn on the tabs view. That will just reload your workspace and you'll have tabs as an option. Now uh, we can go back to list. The other way that you can do this is you can use your command K or your control K um, and just press tabs, viewers tabs, and you are done. So this is essentially just another view. So the same as you would change this if you want to view it as a table or if you want to view it as cards, it's, it's just another view, okay? So you think of it as a top tab and then a whole lot of tabs underneath that you can then turn into, uh, into kind of a dashboard-like view, okay? So this works great. You can start writing under any of these, um, but I find the best way to use tabs is to use them with live searches. So you can actually create a live search here. Um, so you can add a new tab and you can go Command K, find nodes with the tag, let's say person for instance as a list and then suddenly you've got a new tab that is a search and let's say this is all people and so I find um, that kind of combination of searches and just kind of plain uh, nodes works really well rather than having to view things as a list and opening each of these nodes individually I think it just saves screen real estate to view it as a tab but not just that, you start to think of this as more like a dashboard, okay? So think of each of your kind of uh, setups and your use cases rather than like a single search over here, rather than like, okay, people is gonna be set up and then um, let's say tasks is gonna be another one and then 
uh, projects is going to be another one in your um, let's say if you open up your your sidebar here rather than having each search individually in your sidebar start to think about how you group those things together I tend to group them in what I call hubs right so I've got my um, my focus hub which is projects and tasks so I've got my project hub which is projects and tasks I have a meetings hub which is all of my meetings and people uh, I've got a, uh, a meal hub which is all of my recipes ingredients meal plans and so I'm starting to bring together uh, a whole lot of different super tags that work together and views to be able to view those in different ways so let's have a look at, at um, let's say for instance uh, projects and tasks it's quite an easy one so let's come up here to playground and you'll see here focus hub right so if I come in here you'll see all of these tabs across uh, across the board so in this first one we've got a live search that we're searching for everything that is a project and we're viewing this as cards in a Kanban style um, view okay so when I'm thinking about projects I'm thinking I want to see like a big view a board of all of my projects like if they were up on a whiteboard I want to see where they are I want to spread them out okay that's how I'm thinking about projects but when I come into thinking about tasks, I'm thinking, okay, I want to see, I want to see them kind of a, a bit tighter. Um, so then uh, I've got another search that is called up next. Um, and uh, this is all of my tasks as incoming and as available. And you can start to see there's a whole lot of tasks in here. Okay. If we have a look here, it's just every task that is not done and it's viewed in a certain way. Okay. And there's a reason that I have this kind of, uh, view and it's because I want to see everything that is incoming which is basically my task inbox and then I want to see everything that is available to then be scheduled in some way okay but then I want to view my tasks in a different way which then I set up in a different tab okay so we've essentially got all of the same data in here these are all still tasks if we come to the live query we're seeing exactly the same live query, but you're seeing it in a different way. And this is essentially the way to kind of really supercharge your workspace in Tana, because rather than stuff around with like, okay, I need to see incoming and then we're gonna change this grouping and we're gonna change it this way and then go back like that is an inefficient way to be working so what you have to think about is once you've got your super tags and once you've got some of your live searches start to think about in what context do i need to see this data okay so in this context in up next i need to see it when i've got a whole lot of tasks that i've dumped in and i need to process them into available okay that's the context that i'm thinking about in this particular search when I go into this week, the context that I'm thinking about is now how do I take all the available tasks and put them into days? And what days am I gonna schedule those on? And so this view works really well. So I can essentially go from project board, entering a whole lot of tasks into projects, into up next, processing those tasks into available, into then this week where I'm putting those tasks into days, and then I've got other different kind of random searches like everything I'm waiting on, for instance. OK, so if I ever tick the waiting um, uh, field, then everything that I'm waiting on for somebody else comes in here. Really easy way to find it. OK, um, I've got a task inbox in here. I've got a tickler. I won't go through everything, but you can see how you can take the same data and view it in different ways or you can take complementary data and you can set it up so it feels like this is one thing okay it's the focus hub it's not projects over here it's not tasks over here it's not random searches it's thinking through how do i need to view this data in different contexts and almost kind of walking you through the process of projects entering tasks processing those tasks scheduling those tasks all of that kind of thing and so I have these kinds of dashboards set up all over my workspace I have ones for meetings uh, I have ones for my knowledge hub okay which is where I keep all of my notes 
I have ones for all of my weekly reviews, for instance. Um, and so all of these start to become kind of dashboards or hubs, and they are all powered by live searches inside of tabs. So that's how you can use tabs in Tana to be able to take your data and view it in a whole lot of different ways, not use so much screen real estate, but really make your data useful and not have to context switch all the time. So if you liked this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. I'm trying to get these videos out every week as much as I can. Um, and I want to get as much as I can out to you about Tana. Now, if you liked any of those setups, the Content Hub, Focus Hub, Knowledge Hub, all of those, they are all included in my new Tana Fast Track course, which is so good. We have over 70 people who are in the course right now uh, and getting their Tana set up exactly like this. So I go through the step-by-step -step instructions for how to set all of this up from super tags to uh, the fields that you need through to all of the searches and the tabs and all of that, plus, brand new. Uh, I've just included all of the one click instructions to actually just get it straight into your workspace without any setup. Um, but I do say that you should go through the videos because it's going to get you um, a great understanding of Tana, of all of the different functions and really going to be able to get you up and running. So if you don't want to spend, you know, weekends and weeks and months trying to get Tana set up, jump into Tana Fast Track today. I'll put the link below in the uh, description and I hope to see you on the inside. But otherwise, I will see you in a new video. Um, hopefully uh, sometime this week, I'm going to try and put two, out two videos every week um, to really kind of um, show you through Tana, show you through all the different ways. So until then, have fun and I will see you in the next video.